Welcome to AI War. Uh, we're going to talk about the first five minutes of the game and uh, the sort of activities you can expect to be doing during that time. Um, if I zoom out here, you can see that a whole lot of uh, the game has already been set up. Uh, all of the metal harvesters and all of the crystal harvesters are already populated. Um, all of the uh, you've already got a uh, Mark One force field set up. You've already got a Mark Two energy reactor, so you've got a nice net energy balance. Uh, you've got a pair of Mark Two engineer drones, so you can start accelerating buildings uh, immediately. You've got a scout and a science lab, so you can have them start getting to work immediately. Uh, basically, all of this uh, has come about in post-release from uh, player suggestions of uh, you, you don't want to be just uh, routinely going through the same activities every time you start a new game like you have to do in uh, a lot of uh, RTS games. That's not strategy, that's uh, just an optimization problem and you know how fast can you get at that first five minutes of doing the same activity every time. So, uh, at this stage here with AI War, um, there's not any more setup we need to do. We've started the game. Everything's ready to go. Let's actually play. Let's actually start um, doing stuff. So the first thing that I want to do usually is uh, start scouting. So I'm going to select my space dock and I'm going to right click, make a gather point here, and uh, I'm going to go on and create uh, 10 scout drones here. Uh, as you notice, both of my Mark II engineers are already accelerating that, so these guys get built really, really quickly. Um, now I'm going to select them, um, uh, we'll say three at a time, and I've been tabbing out to the galaxy map here. I'm going to go on and right click to send them off into the galaxy at various locations, see if we can find out a little bit about what specifically is nearby. I'll do two at a time on this one and get over here to lies up. And I'm um, going to send out the Mark II scout along with that. Um, so these are the various paths that I've sent them on. And uh, we'll start getting back some information about that in a little bit. And then actually, there's our first one. So we can see, okay, zero metal, four crystal on that one. Um, all right. So that's a fairly weak planet, fairly low value as well, but it's right next to us, so we're probably going to take it. All right, this one has three metals, zero crystal. Hmm, this isn't uh, too good of a starting area just because there's not a lot of resources right next to us, but uh, we'll deal with that. That's all right. Uh, over here, zero metal, three crystal. Boy, this is a poor energy map. That's unusual. That, I mean, it happens, but... Uh, this is a little bit on the low end. Um, okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. There's resources out here somewhere. We'll find them. All right, here's a Mark IV. Metal one, Crystal one, Mark three. There we go. Four metal, three crystal. So that might be one that we'd be more interested in sooner than later. All right, we've got a tele several teleport raiders in here. What I've neglected to do is actually build any military. So I'm going to start building five of fighters, bombers, and cruisers. You want to get those popping out. And uh, thanks to my good old uh, engineer drones, they do it. They pop out very quickly. So uh, they're all accelerated. So I'm getting uh, one fighter a second. So I can really build up quite a substantial army very quickly. Uh, you see my metal and crystal are pretty high, so that lets me really get off to uh, a good start and start attacking some other planets right out of the gate. Uh, my science lab is uh, going on and counting up, so I've got more knowledge coming. Um, that I start with ten, uh, players all start with 10,000 knowledge now, which is really high. Uh, it used to be 1,000, and uh, 10,000 is you know more more than you'll have as a balance at any other part of the game usually, um, because you're going to want to go on and spend that on unlocking some technologies. With uh, 10,000 knowledge, I can unlock pretty much any technology in the game, any single technology, or several smaller technologies. Um, the question comes in, uh, 
what do I want to spend that on? What you know, because the, there's an opportunity cost. I can't unlock everything. I can lock, unlock any one thing, but that's going to preclude my unlocking something else. So what am I going to specialize in from the start? I could specialize in scouts, do some better scouting. Uh, I could get one of these military classes unlocked to Mark II or Mark III even. Um, and I could get some new starships and unlock some of them specialize in getting a better economy if I'm worried that might not be a bad idea in this particular game uh, all the various defensive options or a whole wealth of turret options if I'm feeling like uh, I'm at risk of being attacked too much uh, I'm gonna go on and unlock Missile Cruiser Mark II and uh, heck let's go on and unlock Missile Cruiser Mark III so I'm gonna go on and add those two into my queue I'm going to go in and actually, for the purposes of this demo, bump them to the front. So those take a little bit longer, even with the Mark II uh, engineers existing. I'm going to go in and build another couple of engineers here. And um, while I'm at it, I'm actually going to build a Mark III energy reactor, because as you can see, my energy is getting lower, and I want to build a bunch of ships. So now these guys are all, the engineers are prioritizing uh, assisting that uh, energy reactor and they'll uh, go on rush from there. Okay, you can see I've done a poor job of defending uh, my wormholes, which is uh, something that you want to do sooner than what I've done here. I've lost all of my metal harvesters and, uh, well, most of my metal harvesters, all my crystal harvesters, and so my economy is really taking a hit. That's no big deal. I can rebuild those easily. Um, first of all, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my space dock and hold V. I'm going to right click, and now all the units that are coming out are going to come out in free roaming defender mode, which the, they'll have a little pink border. Uh, and I'm going to select V and right click to put all of my existing guys into free roaming defender mode. Now all of these guys in free roaming defender mode start going out and um, defending the entire planet basically and then when they're done they'll return back to that uh, home guard point. Okay so at this point the uh, couple of dozen guys AI ships that had come in here are dying which is great so what I'm gonna do so you're going to come back to my orbital command station. This is the thing where if that dies, then I lose the entire game. So I want to protect that. That's why it's under the force field, and I've got military ships protecting it and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click metal harvesters and crystal harvesters, and now voila, they're all back. Uh, of course, they're. Uh, not rebuilt yet, but they're in the process of being rebuilt. So it's going to take another five minutes for all of those to be uh, rebuilt individually. I can accelerate that with engineers, but um, you know that just goes to show you really want to try to avoid <laughs> losing your resource producers because there is a time cost for those to get rebuilt, even if it is very simple for you to uh, initiate that rebuilding. So it's not a micromanagement concern too much for you, but uh, you know, it does make a more longer term hit to your economy. What I'm going to do to go on and help accelerate that is put my engineers into free roaming defender mode. So now my teleporting engineers, the Mark II ones, have already bumped out here and are accelerating that so it only takes about a minute for each one. Uh, my Mark I engineers here have to uh, actually fly directly. I could unlock Mark II engineers later myself for them, but uh, have not done that yet. Okay, so at this point, I'm still not super well defended. I, you know, I've got some guys that have been built, and it's building more guys. It's doing so at a much reduced rate because my Mark II engineers uh, are off, uh, you know, busy helping rebuild those uh, resource reactor, uh, resource harvesters. So, you know, fighters take twice as long, two two whole seconds. The the bombers take you know ten seconds, etc. So my fleet is growing at a much reduced rate. Um, we'll get that back on track very shortly with the engineers repairing the uh, harvesters out here. My metal and crystal is uh, getting a little bit lower but it's still not too bad.